Hello everyone. Constitutional law is the supreme law of land. All the laws which were passed by the parliament, they get the legal entity from our Indian constitution. So a constitution may be defined as a document having a special legal entity which set out the framework and the principal function of the organ of the government of state and declare the principles governing the operation of those organs. The constitution can be classified into two, into three parts: written and unwritten constitution, flexible and rigid constitution, unitary and federal constitution. A written constitution is one which is written down in the form of a document. It is a formal, a single source of all constitutional law of the country. As a consequence, it lays down a limited or a controlled government. A constitution is called unwritten if it is not embodied in a one comprehensive document it is interpreted in a number of sources for example the constitution of great britain it is found in a several statutes in court decision in common law principle and in convention and usages the second one is flexible and rigid constitution a constitution is known as flexible if it provides a simple procedure for its amendment as is prescribed for making law a rigid constitution is one which require a special complex and more technical procedure for its amendment for example indian constitution under article 368 it provide a rigid method or a procedure to amend the provisions of constitution the third classification is unitary and federal constitution a constitution is known as unitary if it is set up a one central government in which all power of the government are concentrated and the state is subordinate to the center in a federal constitution it provides for the division of power between the center and the state the state are not subordinate to the center government but they have to coordinate and cooperate with the center government in federal form of a constitution all the power that is law making power administrative power and financial power it is divided between the center and the state there are certain essential features of federal form of a constitution which you may find in our constitution also they are as follows distribution of power supremacy of the constitution a written constitution rigid constitution and authority of the court all these features it is embodied in our indian constitution along with these features we have certain unitary feature in our constitution such as appointment of the governor governor parliament power to legislate in the national interest emergency provisions a uh, parliament power to form a new states and alter the boundary of existing state single citizenship repugnancy between center and state law residuary power which is given only to the center then the presence of single judiciary the exclusive right of parliament to propose the amendment to the constitution unequal representation of the state in rajya sabha all india services a single judiciary system all these unitary features they are there in our indian constitution due to which we can say that indian constitution is often described as a quasi federal country so our judiciary is also interpreted in state of rajasthan versus union of india justice bakes sir he said that the indian constitution is more unitary than federal and having the appearance of federal structure kc where described the indian constitution as a quasi federal form of a constitution thank you very much